Hi there, and welcome to a tutorial video on how to set up OSC inside of cables. My name is Mark, my handle on the forums is Andro, and today I'll be showing you from start to finish how you can configure your system to run OSC with cables. So first of all, I'll be doing this tutorial video on a Windows 10 machine, but pretty much everything is almost the same on a Linux and Mac system. So you should just be able to follow this video and get it running, no problem. So if you click on the first link underneath the video below, you're gonna get taken to this page, OSC to WS, which stands for Open Sound Control to WebSocket. So we're gonna scroll down, and the first thing I've gotta do is I've gotta install Node.js for my operating system. So you just go to the Node.js main page, and I downloaded the Windows installer. Um, and now let's go here to Downloads, and here you can see it. So I just double click this, I click Next, I agree, Next, just install on the default location, Next. Make sure that um, all of these options are on, click Next again, and then click Install. Maybe I should put some elevator music on now. Okay, I'll be back in a moment. Great, so Node.js is successfully installed. So I click Finish, I'm just gonna minimize this. I'm gonna go back over here. So now it says, open a terminal in the osc to ws directory and type npmi. Well, we don't have this yet. So we go up here to clone a download. I click Download Zip. I'm gonna put that into Documents, click Save. I'm gonna say Show in a Folder. So here it is, and it's a zipped file. So now I'm gonna click Extract All to the same location. And let's just do this. So here it is, and if I go in, I can see that I've got the, the same folder twice, osc 2 ws master So I'm just gonna go in once. I'm just gonna cut this. I'm gonna go back to the top level, I'm gonna paste. And that now makes sure that everything is just here in one folder with that name. So this is what you should just see there right now. Okay, so, so far, so good. And then it says here, um, open a terminal in that directory and type npmi. So on Windows, you just go to here, click in this top part there, type in cmd, and this will open the command prompt. Now, there it is. You're gonna have to do something different on Mac and Linux, obviously. So now I just type in npmi, and I hit enter. The Node Package Manager is now going to download, extract, and pack everything together that OSC 2 WS needs to run. Okay, so far so good. That's installed. Let's look at a repository. And to start, we type in node main.js. So go here and type in node main.js. Now, the handy part here is that you see your IP address of your local computer. You're going to need this in a minute. Um, to set up your OSC software. So as you can see over here, I've got Touch OSC from the awesome Hexler Industries. So I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna click this part here with the IP address, uh, because right now it doesn't match. I've got 231 as my last numbers, and here it's 127. So I'm just gonna tap here, and I'm gonna type in 127. Enter. You need to make sure that your outgoing port matches this one here. So OSC receiver is listing on port 9000, so your outgoing port should be 9000. I go back and back and I click done. So Touch OSC is now ready to go. So now we need to send that data to the WebSocket op. So I click here, we have an empty patch. Let's get rid of that. I'm going to type in WebSocket. Now, as you can see in the repository, um, I need to put this URL in, huh, there we go, into there. I'm going to press enter. Um, now, connected is, isn't like showing anything right now. So sometimes I've had this the first time I installed this. If I now click here in the command prompt and let's press control C, it's kind of like a reset. It just gets it um, out of this stuck loop that it's in. And now it's all good. It'll just continue to work. So now it says connected true which is great. So it shows me that the WebSocket um, client has connected. So I go to the WebSocket and I drag out from this port and I'm gonna type in OSC number. Let's keep it nice and simple. So I'm gonna press F for flow mode, first of all. And if I now move this, as you can see, we have activity. So we've got a connection and it's all working. So I'm gonna click OSC number and I'm gonna click learn. I'm gonna move this. 
So you could type in um, an OSC address here that you've got yourself, and don't forget, if you're, if you're moving things here, and then you inspect this, it'll show you the name of the address that that data is coming in. So if I now go over here and I press this toggle button, and I press this, it's gonna show me the name there. So you can type them over by hand. We think it's a lot cooler if you can just click learn. So I could click learn here and move it again to a different one. So just to show you what's happening, I'm gonna just move this number, and as you can see, it's connected. So we're almost near the end of the tutorial. I just wanna show you something else. So if you need more than one number, then we get OSC numbers, and this will output four numbers from a defined OSC address. Now, this XY pad will output two numbers at the same time. So I click Learn, I move this, and as you can see, we've got X and Y working there. We also have the OSC array up, uh, which I could also use right now with the XY pad. I don't have anything that outputs more than two values. But as you can see, um, we've got this stuff right here. So that's how you set up OSC inside of cables. It's really nice and easy. And just to recap it, from now on, once you've got it installed, the one thing you've got to do is you've got to go into, uh, control C is what breaks you out of this, uh, by the way. Um, so to recap, you're gonna to have to go into this folder, OSC to WS master, and then you just go in there and you just type in node main.js and now it will run. And there's nothing else that you have to do. And as you can see, after the first time it's run, you don't have to press Control C anymore to kind of reset it. It's just picked it up and it's all good. So that's the end of this tutorial video. I hope it's been educational and informative. If you've got any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them under the video below or to post them on the forums. Thanks for watching and have a good one. Bye.